What's going on, guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Winnipeg Jets, the Stanley Cup champion Winnipeg Jets. Now, we just had our draft, which we found some decent talent considering where we were drafting, especially that goaltender. My goodness. Getting him in the second round was an absolute steal. That's kind of an insurance policy in case something is weird with Hellebuck and he wants a lot of money, which we maybe can't afford. So we may have to move on. Depending. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But before we get into that, even before we get into the free agency, we have, well, a lot of winners to read off. No one got the clean sweep or else this would have been a lot easier. But we did have quite a few people, especially with that four-way tie in the goaltenders. Yes, I did give, give it to Vasilevsky simply because he did win the, the, the um, the Vesna and the William M. Jennings, so you had to. Anyway, I'm going to have to do this in almost a lightning round fashion, put you guys all up on screen and such, but yeah, you'll see. There's a lot of you. So first up, we got, um, I'm, is that supposed to be official? Uh, Bag Offical YT or YouTube, guessing Line A and Hart. Now, Line A and Shifley actually tied for points at the end of the year, so there you go. A lot of ties there. Next up is uh, Albin... Kjellberg, uh with Barry, Sagan, and Hart, but it was Barry and Hart that he got. Barry did lead uh, because, well, Shattenkirk was injured most of the year. Next up, we got Psycho Dad Jesse, guessing, I guess that's supposed to be Shifley and Carter Hart. Next up, we got Messi is Food, guessing Shifley and Thatcher Demko. After him is Kool Aid Killer with Barry and Vasilevsky. Rasmus S. with Shifley and Vasilevsky. Next up is Eric Barros with Shifley and Vasilevsky as well. That was a very popular combination. Next up, Maximilian Polit with Line and Vasilevsky. Next up, we got Kevin Martin with Shifley and Dumco. You guys' spellings on some of these names is uh, pretty impressive, I gotta say. Uh, random person guessing line A and a heart. Then we got Zinthi with Shifley and a heart. Frozen Blades with Shifley and heart. And oh, that's actually the last one because for some reason I took someone's picture twice. All right, well, we can get rid of that then. All righty, so that is it. For the uh, the winner, so congrats to all you guys. Best, of, someone's got to get a clean sweep in this franchise mode at some point. Come on now, or have we had? I don't think we've had one yet. I don't think so. But again, we did win the cup relatively early. It's only 2023, but we ain't done yet. Hell no. If we could make this team into a dynasty, that is what we're doing. That is the goal there. So, all right, let's see what we can do about it. First things first. We got some big, okay, good. Shifley does want an extent. That's big. That's a big start right there. How many years and what price? Okay, the price is high, as we kind of assumed it would be. I'm not going to give him seven years. It doesn't move much. I can give him six or five, maybe six. Uh, where's my phone? There she is. Aha, I got her. All right, get out of here, notification. No one cares about you. You ever have like a note, you, you guys ever had notifications on for something you needed at a time and then didn't need, but then just don't turn off notifications? I got that from Zillow, like for when I was like looking for a new place. All right, so if we did this for six years, it'd be 8.73, which isn't too bad considering what Shifley does. It really isn't. So I'm okay with this. Yeah, it's six years. Maybe I should do five to be safe. It's the same price, but I, th I feel like Shifley kind of has earned that term, you know? And he shouldn't decline too heavily, either. So we're going to do that for Shifley. He's won the cup. He earned, he earned some term. Again, I don't think he's going to be a fast decliner. We can get him for this price for six years, which is very good. Yeah, it's a bit. It's like a two mil upgrade over him, but that's not much considering. So we're going to do a six-year extension for Shifley there. Oh, shit. I should have actually done five because he's already... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I forgot he still got this year. Whatever, not a big deal. He sh again, he won't decline that heavily. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about Rosovic not wanting. Oh, and Lowry. Neither of them want extensions? Come on now. You guys are very important. Uh, bottom sixers, man. 
That's rough. Okay. Hellbuck. This is a big one. What kind of contract? Okay. Oh, damn. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll decrease his years because goalies are a bit different. For sure, only go to five for him. That take that'll take him up till he's 36. Maybe even go a bit shorter. Let's do four-year extension. Yeah, that's a bit safer. So, oh yeah, this isn't this is a great price for uh Hellebuck. Yeah, we get him for almost six flat. So we're really not even paying more for him. This is incredible. If I, if he signs for this, this is great. Yeah, so this is basically it takes him up till he's 35 with this year. Which, yeah, I'm okay with. He shouldn't decline too heavily. We could take him. We can see where he's at after that. And we still got Fransu. Someone's saying I'm saying that name wrong. That's how I heard announcers say it one time in Colorado. So I'm, I'm saying it until I until I hear for sure otherwise. What the hell else is it? I used to call him Frank, Frank Hoos or something. Because that's how it looks. Here's an idea, Frenchman. Fix your, fix your pronunciations. Just kidding. Um... Or am I? I say that in the English language. We have five different theirs. And <laughs> All right. Well, unfortunately, I can't really extend any of these other guys right now. I have to kind of wait to see what they say, which is a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, um, Well, we're only going to be paying two more mil for, uh, for Shifley, so that's kind of neat. It's really good for us. I mean, we still have like nine mil of cap space. Which is really good. Again, we're gonna have some of that's gonna go away, but I mean, the Shifley deal is way better than I thought it would be. Byram's on a great deal. Gotch, Wong, Tessier, these guys all coming off entry level, so maybe the best thing is to save our cash because I can't really think of a hole we have right now. Barry Byram, top pairing, probably Tessier and Morrissey for now. Oh, is he back to actual? No, we haven't had him scouted, so we'll see if T Tessier is really a medium franchise or if it was lying to us. Um, anyway, yeah, Morrissey, Tessier, and then Hanela and probably Lease on that bottom pairing. Gonna have to go to a couple lefties, but I think that's a smart thing to do. And then Dahlstrom for depth. And then one, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, really? Is how is Lambos not AHL yet? Well, he might not be. Whatever. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll have to. I might have to look for some AHL type guys for defense. I don't want to be short. Forward wise, there's twelve. Thirteen in cop for depth. Shore in cop. Gustafson, McKenzie. We got plenty. Plenty of guys. Now, we don't know if Spotcheck's a real guy. I think he's more of a AHL. Yeah, yeah, he's an AHL ringer. Um, but we can keep up Cop. Maybe, mm, yeah. McKenzie as well. Both of these guys kind of AHL ringers. So maybe I should get a fourth liner. Eh, Gustafson might be ready. God, we have a lot of good centers. <laughs> I like it. A lot of guys with good face-offs. That's, that's pretty damn good. Especially if we somehow end up losing Lowry, I'd like to not. I think we'll be we should be able to afford him, but I'm hoping to get a more team friendly deal off him. Maybe I should get a fourth liner. I do, I do really like Gustafson. I just don't know if he's gonna jump, and be be ready for uh, NHL. I think I want to play him there anyway, though, man. He's he's good. He's a two way guy. Good awareness. Good defensive stats. I I think I'll try him there anyway. Yeah, we might play Gustafson on the wing or something and still have cop for depth or something like that. I don't really think we need to sign anyone. Besides maybe. Yeah. Some AHL type dudes. Let's check it out. Let's see. Maybe I will sign like a couple just for to fill out. I should probably go to two way, huh? Going the wrong way here. You know, let's go to all skaters because I didn't need a defensive type guy as well. Is there anyone? This guy's tendered. Close to the top, though. 
I mean, if he's tender, they they could have. Oh, he's, he's good. All right, let's let's try to get him. I mean, his t the team will probably match because he's tendered, but we won't have to give anything up if they don't. So, yep, yep. There's your offer sheet. He'll prop, like I said, he'll probably get matched here. Carrier. <laughs> Kamenev's not great. I know they don't need to be great, great, but I'm kind of kind of looking for guys who would be okay. There we go. Gardner. That. Probably go for one, at least one more defenseman here. I'm trying to find guys who are at least young with something. Here's another one. Again, we're probably not going to get either of these guys, but I'm going for it anyway. Teams could easily match. I mean, they're just two-way deals, right? So maybe I'll go for one. Nah, I, I've offered two. These guys should still be here. All right. Um, I don't think I'm gonna find any more young-ish forwards. A lot of tender defensemen. Batherson. You know I'm gonna go for him as well. A few offer sheets here. We'll see. We'll see if any of them accept. Probably none. Um, wait. Do we need a goalie? Or do we keep both of our goalies? I'm, I, I can't remember. I'm actually... Let me, let me check that real quick. I don't think... I think I'm thinking of last year when we needed a, a goalie. For the, like, AHL or something. I think we held on to him. Yeah, we got him. We are solid. Okay. So let's advance a couple days here. See if we get any of those guys or if they get matched. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't care, man. Join my team. So I didn't get Burns or Giordano or anything. Oh, fuck off. Um, because their teaching was really bad. And I, I, I needed them for... Uh, essentially, I wanted them for my uh, AHL. And, well, you need... <laughs> I Basically, all I need there is good teaching because I'm trying to make guys better, you know? So, they... Yeah, they weren't really an option. Now I got to get a new goalie coach, though. Which is fine because D minus goalie coaches for the AHL are literally a dime a dozen. I don't know what she's rejecting for. All right, cool. I'll show you. No, literally a dime. That's not even. It's literally a dime a dozen. I was trying to get like a younger one. Is that her? Yeah, that's her. That's why. I'm trying to get like a younger one. <laughs> Whatever. There's a few more. But I think, yeah, they draw. I would like to have A plus teaching. So. Whatever, 52, you'll last for a long bit. Brian Jeffrey. Imagine rejecting as a D minus. Couldn't be me. I do have an assistant coach offered, so he'll be coming up soon. Anyway, let's get back to uh, advancing day here. Ah! What? Oh, did I not change him to the correct role? Huh? Oh, I guess I gave him an NHL assistant instead of AHL. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> the hell is his name? He was a good teacher. I know that. Where was he? He's like a B minus somewhere. Hold on. Get past all the goalies first. This was him, I, I'm guessing. I'm going for this guy regardless. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. I don't think it was, but whatever. I'm going for him anyway. This guy might retire soon with his age, but who cares? He had good teaching. There we go. Weird. Yeah, I must I must have made a mistake when I offered him something. Whatever. Not a big deal. That guy has good teaching as well. Hello. Dallas get two first for Lindell and a third. I'd say it's pretty damn good return for Dallas. Oh, but yeah, so Batherson, he got matched. Oh, he did get Gardner, though. Sweet. Yeah, the, the defensemen are all getting matched. Yep, they all got they all got matched. It's I kind of expected it. But it's worth the try anyway, right? Because they were all solid. All right. Um, again, I don't think we're going to find anyone with good potential. Oh. Oh. 
Hi. <laughs> There's another low with a chance. You know, I'll get... No, oh, not you. Get out of here. Kuffner. Try to pull a fast one on me, will ya? Let's get both of these guys. This guy might be elite as well. If not, he's gonna be, what, low top four? So, fuck yeah. Either way, it's good. <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? We somehow have him scouted? Have him scouted? I don't even care. Give me... Alright. Well, there's there's your blessing in disguise. I usually don't sort by this, because I've never found anyone who's a, <laughs> like this. I've, I've literally never seen that. So, I just kind of gave up. Apparently, I shouldn't have done that. Don't give up, kids. Fall, chase your dreams. Especially if your dreams include finding low elites in free agency. This is like an NHL 18 move right here. <laughs> when you just go to go to free agency and pick up a bunch of low elites who didn't get drafted because there was no fog of war. Or was that NHL 19? I can't remember. All these years bleed together. It's, pre it's pretty easy for that to happen considering it's the same fucking game released every year. Oh, zing! Get fucked, EA. Alright, um, I think that's it. Two dudes there should be fine. Ford N will be fine, I guess. I don't know. I'll snag this guy too, just because it's funny. Screw it. Just, just fill up. Alright. Advance a few more days here. Alright. We got a goalie coach. And we got the uh, HL assistant coach. Shifley accepted his extension. Hellebuck accepted his extension. That is huge for us. I think that was it. The only two guys we tried to extend. Now we'll just see if the free agency goes through. San Jose gets Stetcher in a fifth. Vancouver gets Hayes and a fourth. Vancouver loses with that contract. Good gracious. All right. And we got both of them, including the low elite. They might both be low elites, but we'll see. Oh, wait, Monroe. We traded that guy. <laughs> no wonder. Wait, Monroe. Didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enroth. Did we trade Enroth too? Is that why we had him scouted? I know we traded Monroe. Was Enroth one of the ones we traded? Because, well, we, we nonetheless, we just got two low leads back for free. So, LOL. Teams are stupid. Um, whoa. The, oh, my goodness. Pittsburgh traded Crosby. They traded Cahoon and Crosby for Pareko, Hickey, and a fifth. What a horrible trade for Pittsburgh. Why would you trade Cahoon at 86 and Cro What the fuck? What a stupid trade. Boston is stacked. Hold what? Let me let me see that. Holy crap. What a stupid trade. Now they got Crosby on the block. What? And Kahoot on the block? Is this guy stat growth? Maybe. He might be stat growth, but he's only got one year left, so he's they're set. Crosby got two years left, and they got him on the block now. Dude. That's insane. Wow, man. Boston. Going for it, I guess. Jeez. Sick trade, though. I mean, I'd say Boston won that hands down. Like, Pareko, what the hell? Good is he? Really? That was a thing? Like, yeah, Pareko's decent, but he's like 30 on that. All right, I guess the contract's good, but. Who else did they get? Uh, not enough is, is the answer. Hickey or something? What a stupid trade for Pittsburgh. What? That trade makes zero sense. For Pittsburgh, man. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, well, there's that. That just happened. That's a thing in this game. Okay, well, we got everyone signed. I can't remember. That distracted the hell out of me. Advance a couple more days here just to be sure. I feel like I was missing someone else, but apparently I'm not. So there we go. All right, I'm going to sim up here, get the lines and scouts taken care of, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we are back for another year to defend our title. Some things look the same, some things look differently. We got Landis Cog, Shifley Line A top line, Connor Hurdle, Ehlers second, Veseline and Wong, and Gotch now as our third line. Gardner, Lowry, and Rozovic. We'll see how good Gardner is. I don't know if he'll actually be the guy to fill in here, but I'm, I'm giving him a shot. I I put the other dude back in the HL. Again, when, when we're going to fully scout, we'll really have an idea for it. And this guy's on a two-way anyway, I believe. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, defensively, Byram, Barry, Tessier, Morrissey, uh, Hinola, and Lease. And we got plus one on everything, so that's great. Yeah, I'm really really digging that. We'll see if this guy's the real deal. This least guy. Hoping he is. 
power play lineup. We got that plus three because we got put the OFD up there, and that will be Tessier now. So, Tyler Tessier, congrats at age 21. You are now quarterbacking that second unit. Landis Gog, Shifu Line, Ehlers, Tessier, second unit, Hurdle, Wong, Veselainen, um, Barry, and Connor getting Hurdle on the one time side. So, there we are. There's a quick look at the four man. The penalty kill. Got some zeros, pretty decent. <laughs> There's a three man got some minus ones. It's as good as we've ever been able to make it But I care more about how it performs and it's performed quite well All right four and four Shifley line line with Byron Barry hurdle Landeskog with Morrissey Tassier Long vessel line in with Lise and Hainola three on three at same forward pairings going with Barry Tessier and Morrissey on the back end extra attacker at line a Ehlers and the shootout lineup is there and of course I'll give you guys a quicker look at it. <laughs> I'm just going through. I figure you guys can pause if you want to see anything crazily. There's Hellebuck and Fransu on the back end. Scratches, Dahlstrom, and Cop. Quick look at the AHL lines. As they are. So Gustafson's going to start there. I do really, really like him, but I don't know if he's actually, in fact, ready. I had him starting down here, and usually that means they're not ready. And we got Enroth and Monroe down there, scratching that Gawanky guy. So yeah, <laughs> got some low leads back. <laughs> Goaltenders, of course, there. I'm not really going to go in depth in the AHL. Who cares? This is what we care about. We care about defending that Stanley Cup title. And yeah, it kind of sucks continuing to play Vesta line in here on this second line. But I, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the last year he's going to play on that third line because. He's 6'4", 209. Even though his aggressiveness is not, he's a good body checker. What I think I'm going to do in the is next year, Landis Gog's on the last year of his deal. That's the year if we want to trade him, we trade him. Or we let him expire. But maybe trade him and then Veselina gets moved up. We'll see. We'll, base, we'll see what happens there. But yeah, Veselina either this year or next year is probably the last year he'll be on the third line. We're trying to keep him happy, essentially. At right now and you know he's what like 88 like he's already good enough put him on that first line with Shifley line a he'll do it he'll do what needs to be done probably get some stat growth along the way as Landis Gog did because Landis Gog was an 88 and he's now 90 and you can see chemistry wise very similar between Vessel line and, and Landis Gog so if we change Vessel line into a power forward as a six foot four do which which I think is not out of the question we can maintain that plus three on the top line. So that's kind of my idea for the future here. Of course, Hurdle eventually probably going to get pushed out. He's got three years left on the deal. He could probably be third line center at some point when Wong hops up. That's not out of the question. Uh, just it does put us, you know, to a slight disadvantage with the no shooter thing. So we'll have to kind of consider about that. Maybe Ehlers gets moved for a shooter or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's what we got right now. So, there's our lines. Captains are all the same. Shifley captain, line A alternate, Morrissey alternate. And we are good to go here, I believe. Let's do it. Let's see how this season's going to go. Hopefully not as many injuries. <laughs> that's my main hope. Let's get the team fully scouted here. I'll be able to check out on the AHL, see if, if indeed... I made the right call, keeping McKenzie down on the AHL for now. We shall see. Or was it McKenzie? No, it wasn't McKenzie. It was, was it? I don't know. Gustafson. There we go. McKenzie was another guy. He was a playmaker, though. He's not really. I, I know. I don't consider playmakers with bottom six potential to be NHLers. I simply don't. <laughs> they're, a, they're top line AHLers. So preseason's over and done with. Not the greatest. Scouts are already taken care of. Let's see how the regular season gets underway. It looks like LA beat us. Yeah, they did. 5-3 to three and 6-0. to Okay, we start off 0-2. All right, there we go. A little bit of cup rust in the beginning. Let's see if we can turn that around. There we go. A couple nice dubs there. Braden McNabb is not worth a first. Well, everything's clear off the block still, so get out of here. Nice win right there. Let's see about scouting. Hello. Well, that's a good auto scout, I'd say. Pretty solid.
I don't scout a couple of these guys in the first round. Why not? They're already near. They're not going to be elites, but whatever. Scout them anyway. We'll let all scout through the rest. Over and done with now. Trip down we go towards this area, which is what we want. 86. He's already been scouted. Okay. Most of them being scouted. Not a whole lot. Oh. <laughs> this guy's sort of within range. Jurgen. Jurgen Supis. Oh my goodness. Really? Is everyone being scouted? Okay. Apparently it's a thing. I'm still going to scout as many as I can just because we'll get off to a decent start. Won't go too crazy here, but... Yeah, I couldn't really... The only thing that was in the scouting pool this year were like bees and stuff, so I couldn't really make any other improvements. Not that it's, you know, 100% necessary for us to do so, but... I'm a min-maxer when it comes to that. I have a very pick and choose with uh, how I min-max. Very true for any game I play. Speaking of which, I'm getting I'm getting that hankering to play some Skyrim again. I just watched the entire Harry Potter series with my girlfriend. By the way, she'd never seen him before, so I'm proud to say I introduced her to Harry Potter. Yeah, I know. I couldn't believe she'd never seen him either. But that was an, a fun, and then, now I'm just like, I'm all I'm thinking of is, is making a pure mage in Skyrim and naming him like Grindelwald or some shit. Because I'm a fucking nerd like that. All right. Let's keep it going here. Four and two. Gabriel, don't, no one cares. He's like on the fourth line of the HL or some shit. No! That's what I care about. Gustafson getting injured. That's that's unfortunate. We got a guy who could sort of jump in there. He's not out for too long. Hulak, you get to... I'm, just, I'm throwing him in there anyway because it really simply doesn't matter. Is he your winger or something? Yeah. Left winger. All right, there we go. Yeah, we've turned it around. We went 0-2, then we won five straight, so that's what we were waiting for. Kyle Connor has some ice time concerns. Hopefully, he doesn't want me to bring him up. I will for a minute, but it's convincing. I have a good chance here. There we go. Kyle Connor knows knows how the game's played. Knows we won the cup. Knows uh, knows I Tomas Schur lost. I Tomas Schur, come on, dude. You are so not anything more than a second liner. Don't don't give me this. 50-50. Hopefully we get lucky. Okay. He needs more minutes. We'll do that. Well, we can we can throw him up there for a bit. Yeah, he's an 86. Like, really? An 86 is asking for more ice time when he's on the second line already? Also, Veselainen. Okay, well. Hopefully you get lucky with this. So, Connor's okay. Veselainen's okay. It's just Hurdle that we'd have to move up. So, we're going to do that right now. Hopefully Hurdle doesn't take 10 years to be okay with it like he was last time. And then the second we moved them back down, he's like, fuck you, you broke a promise. <laughs> oh, God, look how good that second line's doing. Come on, Hurdle. I know, I bet he's saying that because he's like, look how good I am. Give me more ice time. Fun must be always, Hurdle. Remember that. You only got nine points. Get out. We'll do that real quick. Switch him around. Advance a couple days. He should be okay with it. Play like one game. He should be fine with it. Oh, God, now Trevor Wong. Stop it. Convincing. Do the thing. Oh, goodness gracious. So Trevor Wong needs to be bumped up as well. I guarantee you Shifley will then complain if I move him down. Oh, God, he's an 85. You're so good. All right, hold on. How am I going to do this? I can try to... You know, Connor already was okay with it, right? Yeah, so I could switch him. Switch those two. It's not great, but I know Connor can take some face-offs anyway. We're just mixing things up here. No big deal. Just, just tell me you're okay with it, guys. That's all I need. There we go. Hurdle's happy I kept my promise, so we could fix that real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. And Trevor Wong's the other guy. So another morale boost for Hurdle. Trevor Wong. Okay, so it took one game. Beautiful. That's 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 what you like to see when it only takes one game. Now they won't bother me the rest of the year. But yeah, we're getting to that point now where we're going to have people doing this because, well, we've built this team very, very well. And we got some... Uh, Ooh, okay, so Landeskog bounced down. He's still got the potential. Only got three points. Wow, minus five. Wow. Or did I say only three? Only got six points. Well, we got three lines rolling, so I'm cool with it. Gotch isn't getting a whole lot. Why is he listed as second line? He's 83. Come on, game. 
<sighs> Sorry, Roslovic. <laughs> He's got. Oh man, our team is just so stacked. Okay, seventy-eight, which isn't amazing. Oh yeah, the other dude's injured, so it's hard to say. McKenzie is a playmaker. God, he's that. God, his defense is actually not bad, but he's just no. It's not. It's nah. he's built too weirdly, in my opinion. I don't know. I want to see the other dude when he's ready, and I might move him down. So sorry, Roslevic, but it's got to be done. He's not growing. He's not growing anymore. He's an eighty-four. It's a guarantee eighty-four. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to probably keep him and Lowry around. They're gonna want some uh, some cash. That's the line in only eighty six. Oh man. You know, if uh, if Landeskog continues to not do well this year, I'll trade him now. Then I could do this switch with Veselin and turn him into a power forward and put him up top. He's twenty four. Might be the time to do it. We'll see. Anyway, the lines are back to how they should be. I'm going to keep Gar that uh, Rhett Gardner guy in there for now on that fourth line. Fourth line's doing well enough. But there we are. We saw everyone almost fully scouted. Let's get to the first stat break. All right, beat Boston. Morrissey, okay, he's dealing with a minor injury, but you battled through it. Gustafson's back. That's good. I don't know if a lot of them fully scouted, so unfortunately i got to wait a bit longer. With that, because he got injured, right? Or maybe, okay, no, he's 70. Yeah, he's only 77. So he's not quite ready. No, he's not. So, yeah, I made this smart call. That Rhett Gardner isn't great either, though. Maybe I'll put Cop in and keep this guy's depth. He has a plus three with four points. But let's put Cop in there, because Cop is maybe actually listed as a fourth liner. So let's switch him, see, see if we'd play better like that. Lowry, okay, actually, they're a minus one now. Um, So let's not do that. Changed my mind. Chemistry is important. Let's not do that. Yeah, let's keep it. All right. Up to the stat break we go. Beat Florida as well. Goaltending defense looking good. We're scoring a decent amount. We're scoring a good amount. All right. Tough loss right there. We got a point. Then we answer back with a shootout win. Loss against Calgary. You're going to lay an egg every once in a while. That was our time. Good, solid wins though. First in the division with 27 points, maybe even first in the NHL. We'll see. Good year for rookies, all right. Nice, nice, really good. Blackhawks doing good. Bob Lease is out, so Dahlstrom can hop in. It's just a minor injury. Minor concussion, kids, don't worry about it. Head injuries are a joke. Uh-oh, Barry's back down to 86. Still got the elite potential, so. But yeah, we really need Tessier to start taking over. He is still a medium franchise, so. All right, time time to grow, man. He's got 11 points in 22 games played. Not great. Oof, Morrissey is an actual 84. I was hoping he wouldn't be. But it's a thing. Whatever. Byram didn't jump either. But there's no way he's not. Oh, he's actually listed as top four. That's weird. Plus eight, plus four, plus six, plus four. I try to mix it up. It won't give us any more chemistry, but. Nah. Nah, let's not let's not break the good defense that we have right now. It's been it's been doing, doing pretty well. So let's not split that up. And we're winning games. That's the most important thing. All right, so there we are, 19-5-2 at the first stat grape, a nine-point lead. I said stat grape, by the way, what the fuck? Nine-point lead on the division. Shifley now ahead in points. Let's see how we're doing. Up at the top, 3.77 goals for, 2.77 goals against. That could be better, but we still got a full one-goal separation, so that's solid. Wow, power play is strong. Penalty kill is strong. We're better on the road, apparently, but we're 8-1 and one of the last 10. Yeah, we're rolling. We are rolling. Now, Chicago has games in hand on us, so really, we're only a natural four points above them, but, you know. Or five points. Math is hard. Let's see. Shifley. 
Shifley 28 points, Ehlers 28. Steep drop off after that. What? That's weird. Shifley Ehlers killing it, but Wong only with 22. Line A only with 22. Only 11 goals. Hurl, Vessel Lion, and Connor. Landeskog. Minus player as well. First line seeming to kind of struggle here. Yeah. And he's got 10 points on the. So only 9 points even strength. That's not exactly great there, bud. I am actually really st considering moving him now. Kyle Connor isn't doing amazing either, but he is on the second line. Look how Veselina is doing on that third. Wong, yeah, I think it's because we're getting a lot of production from the, the third line, which I'm completely okay with. Wong has definitely proven himself. Veselina is being a beneficiary of that. I'll, I'll keep it rolling a bit longer here, but that's definitely looking like an option. Hopefully Tessier begins to produce more. He's only an 83 and playing in the top four. He's getting some power play production, though. That's good. Overall, I like... Oof. Hey, Nola, minus eight. Not great. Uh, Hellebuck's not doing too bad. Fransu, he's looking like just... I don't know. We'll see if he improves throughout the year. He's got points, but, I mean, he's being a beneficiary of our tremendous team. He doesn't have good stats. It's not looking like... He's the backup we need. So, all right. Um, overall, it's good, but I, I'd like to see more production out of certain guys like Line A and Landeskog. Mostly Line A. So, yeah. Keep that in mind. I mean, I do like that we're getting a I mean, we have 3.7 some goals for per game. It's, it has a lot to do with our third line killing it, which is good for us. We like to have that kind of scoring spread out, but, yeah. Yeah. We got to also think about the oh, locker room chemistry is 80, though. Like, how do you make a change when everything is seeming this good? It's pretty tough. Pretty tough. We'll go up after another month, check out some growth. Yeah, I'm, st I'm still mulling it over in my head whether or not Landeskog should be moved this year or next. Lease is back. Not Still not super happy with the top six and how they're doing, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that right now. He's an 81 as well. 81 at 21. Might be a guy to pass up Morrissey. Tough to do that, though. Morrissey's got tremendous chemistry. This guy's not bad. But top four is not super strong. Let's just see for argument's sake. Yeah, it would only be a plus one. And we see now Tessier, Byram only uh, is a zero. Hmm. Just it's the yeah he does, our current coach balances everything which is okay for forwards but not great for defensemen because most of the defensemen are I was very rarely you find a young defenseman with balanced but anyway we got plus ones across the board right now we don't have to worry about that yet we're still killing the game here twenty five and two let's take another look here all at the oh hello. Uh, of course, these are being scattered. All right, this guy, per yeah, really within range to be that uh, low elite here. Check him out more. These guys are more wild cards, but what else are we going to scout? Speaking of wild cards, man, baseball, thinking of changing up its playoff format, which is kind of interesting. I'm kind of down for it. More, more playoff teams is for sure needed, but if they do that, man, might as well shorten that regular season a bit too. 162 games is it's a lot. Like don't I I, it, I don't mind. Like I like baseball. It's, it's relaxing to watch, but like that's it's more of a hobby for me. I don't know. I know there's more people like super super into it, but like I watch I watch baseball kind of well. I watch it more than I watch golf, but I watch it like I watch golf. It's kind of a relaxing type thing for me. Yes, I watch golf. You're damn right. Can't wait for uh, the Masters. It's the best tournament of the year. Hands down. Anyone else watch golf out there? I might be one of the weird ones, but I I really like watching golf, man. I don't know what it is. Well, I know it relaxes the hell out of me. It's interesting. And you know what? A couple days ago, I had a little fun at a benefit show. They had like a silent auction. I won an hour-long golf lesson from a tour pro. Yeah, that's right. I'm not saying who it is. But yeah. I'm going to hop on that and see how terrible I am at the game. It's going to be fun. All right. 
scouting pretty much anyone with potential to be elite here. This guy probably going to be top four, but I want to see that anyway. Okay, any more of these dudes? Nope. A few goalies. This guy has zero games played, so highly unlikely we get much figured out about him. Well, there we are. All right. Continuing on here. Another win, dude. We're just doing so good. Like, like again, how do I change something when we're doing that good? Even though Landeskog might not pr be producing insanely well like the third line is. Jesus. And the record, I think, speaks for itself. Now, Bowen Byram's out with a minor concussion. All right. That's a thing. Whatever. Sub Dahlstrom right in there. Still get that plus one. Barry could help carry him. Couple more wins. Jesus. We cannot be stopped. All right. There's a tough loss right there. Byram's already back. Tessier grew up to an 84. You see that? He is, he's grown throughout the year now as well as getting bumps. That's the, we're, in, we're in prime real estate now for Tessier. All right, keep her going now. All right, Hinola went through a minor injury there. Oof. Big old shutout loss right there. It's all right. Like I said, every now and then we're going to lay an egg. That time we laid a couple in a row. But we answer right back with a bunch of dubs. So, I mean, I'm not worried. Would you be worried with this kind of record? 28, 8, and 3? I'm sure as hell not. Let's check out some growth. 81 locker room chemistry. Jeez, man. It's like, again, how do you how do you even consider moving something when it, it's everything's going like this? Progress supports. Tess, yeah, yep, yeah, he's getting that. Oh, yeah, look at that natural growth. Passing's even getting up there. So, we, again, I'm hoping he starts getting more assists, but probably needs to be more in the top two for that to happen. Not the strongest of shots, but that's kind of good because he's going to shoot a shit ton. We don't, we don't want anyone being, like, super overpowered and such. Ooh, he's a hitter. Might even change him to a 2 AD down the road. So he may, maybe utilizes the hit more. 27 points. Actually, it's not bad. 27 points now. 39 games played. It's not amazing, but he's starting to get there. Plus player now as well. <laughs> he's already got 100 signatures. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? Shooting a lot. Yeah, only f well, he's 43 hits. Yeah, I mean, he's got that high aggressiveness, but he doesn't utilize it a, a crap ton. Whatever. He's, oh my God, you're actually six foot ten now. Because <laughs> apparently, yeah, people still grow. <laughs> six foot ten, two forty eight. Offensive defenseman. Oh, if Tyler Myers was actually good, it'd be Tyler Tessier. <laughs> Most of this other stuff is going to be stat growth and, and whatnot, so I'm not bothering in the system here. Aiden Walton growing. That's a low elite. Low top nine actually grew. Hello. Not a whole lot, though. Just ones. Gibson, that's the other elite goalie we had. Back of goalie growing a bit. Not a whole lot, especially from uh, Wharton. Lambos. Lambos is the big one. Yeah, he's still in. The, still down there. Whatever. He, he'll be an NHL, or it's just what kind of an NHL will he be? So, yeah, nothing from Wharton. Turned 19, but he's still 73. He's still way out of schedule. <sighs> Jimmy Sullivan, man, are you really going to bust on me? <laughs> he wouldn't do that. A little fucking troll. All right. Well, that's cool. Had plans for him to be like a top four, but that don't look like it's going to happen at this point. Which sucks, because, well, we don't have too many other options. All right, well, let's get up to the deadline then. Not a whole lot of growth to speak of, but whatever. I'll check it again probably at the deadline. We'll see where we're at. We'll keep winning games here. Another mild concussion, this one to the HL. Mild concussions all around. Don't worry about it, it's mild. Let's do that too. Give 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 Jimmy some more ice time. Try to do anything to help him out. All right, look at look at these wins, man. We are continuing to win games. All right, 
Tough loss there. We're allowing a few more goals here. Okay, then we shut him out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Noje is back, or Nozier. Make the switch. Well, I can check. Yeah, okay, no, yeah, so it was. It was Enroth and Monroe that we traded, and now we get them both back, which is hilarious. Neither of them highly, highly likely to, to be anything special, but, you know, why the hell not take them back? No one else is likely going to sign them. Oof, tough loss. Yeah, we're allowing a few more goals here. Yeah, definitely. But we've put ourselves in such a good position that we can have a couple so-so stretches. It's not a big deal. Not at all. Oh, hello. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That guy's prime real estate to be a medium elite. Yep, check him out. Right in that, like, third round. Oh, yeah, that's where those medium elites appear. All right, couple now. Callahan's still looking quite good. Lakshanov is a go low goalie with a gem. Okay, uh, low franchise maybe? Probably not, but I'm checking it anyway. Liam Sundin with his ranking. Prime real estate. To be low elite, these guys are more wild cards. Might not go as deep. We'll see where we're at with how many of these guys there are. Enforcer. Everyone's going crazy. Okay. Just a few more here. Probably not going to go as much down at the bottom as I usually do. Except for that guy. Okay, he's already being scouted. So now I'm going to do these guys out of spite. You made me do it, game. You made me do it. Yeah, he's not playing a whole lot, which is why we're not getting him scouted. It makes sense. That's nice to see, though. I'll do this guy, and that'll be it. We'll let auto scout do a bunch more. Okay. Oof. Three losses in a row. Now that Enroth dude's injured. Tough loss there. Alright. Speaking of which, can we get back on the winning side of things here? That 3-1 to win-loss ratio disappeared. Come on now. Let's get back on it. Enroth's already back. Right back in he goes. Another loss in OT, but dude, come on now. There we go. Is that going to be our, our turnaround point? A nice little si Oh, hello. And Boston, they flipped Cahoon for two firsts. <laughs> yeah, Boston are winners, man. <laughs> God damn it. What is happening here? Why are we losing so much, boys? Let's go. Win some games. We're we're better than this. Holy fuck! What is happening? Really coming back down to earth. Now Monroe's injured. Cool. Just both low leads get injured. That's what I wanted. Seriously, man. What the hell? Why is our NHL team all of a sudden... Why are we playing poorly now? No excuse for this, boys. I mean... It, it, I, come on. Jesus, another loss. I don't care about these trades. What is happening? Fuck off. Get out of here, trades. No one cares. Those aren't blockbusters. There we go. That's a nice shutout, but uh, yeah, we can beat these shit teams, but I'm worrying how we're losing to all these other good teams. Not exactly ideal now, is it? Still, this is top six, so I'll keep him not. I'll keep him where he is. What is happening? That was weird, man. That's a pretty big trade. Montreal, pretty solid return for them, all things considered. Another trade. Vegas is loading up. Can we not, like, suck anymore? That'd be great. Heinen and Hickey and Pittsburgh. Get Suzuki. Wow, Suzuki's still only 76. Yeah, he's not, he's not getting anywhere. 
There we go. That's better. Jeez, I was not, not happy with that stretch, though. But again, what kind of teams were we just beating? <sighs> okay, he's not out for too long. That's at least good. But that's a loss that we didn't really need. I'll put Cop in there for now. He, Again, uh, it's not a big deal. It's, I just, just figure it out for a minute. I might just leave him in. It's really not going to be that big of a deal. He's coming back like days after the trade deadline. We're not in a situation where we desperately need points. Nice win right there. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's only going to miss two games, man. That's not a big deal. We're 42-15-5. That's better. Colorado's a decent team. Stars are good at least. Preds are pretty decent. But what I don't like, losing to LA is pretty bad. But losing to, yeah, I don't like that. Where else are these losses coming to? Like, overtime loss. Not a good team. Pretty good team. But, like, oh, actually, some of these losses were against pretty poor teams. So we were just kind of shit in the bed, apparently. All right, this is what it is. Maybe I was looking. Maybe I was a little too harsh. I guess we were going to have bad stretch at some point. Oh, goodness. Line A, that is a response. And now he's injured, of course. Jesus. I mean, I was like, hey, Lana, you should do better. And then he started. Then, yeah, then there's that. Ducks are ahead of us by one point. So a year that actually looks like we could be a President's Trophy winning team. The Ducks are having themselves a year as well. All right, you know what? Let me look at growth before I forget, because I will forget. Has Tessier grown more? A little bit more, yep. Alright, I like it. Wong's actually grown a bit as well. Offense awareness up more, that's great. <laughs> he has a great shot. Shot blocking's trash, but his defense awareness is good. Ah, I wish his face off would get better, but 79's not bad. Tremendous skater. Not an aggressive dude, doesn't need to be. He's a hybrid production guy too, which is very good. How many shots does he take? Eh, he's not that much of a shooter. That's unfortunate. Well, he is. He has that third line time. Bear that in mind. If he's a 200 shot taker on in a scoring role, I'm more than okay with it. Wait, yeah, more than okay with it, man. How the hell does he only have 12 minutes of ice time a game on a third line? Huh. Interesting. There is more growth. All right, there we go. That's a bit better. Wharton grew, Lambos grew, good. Gibson, all of our medium elites grew. Jesus! You bust! <laughs> this Ferraro guy's grown a bit. Monroe and Roth have both grown a tiny amount. Walton. For the most part, it's some good growth. Yeah. Yeah, can't really be upset at that. Okay, now we'll check the stats. Line it came out of nowhere. I think our goals against is a little bit troubling. Yes, it is. It's around the same where it was, but I was hoping it would improve. But goals four got better, three point eight nine. So our ratio is still out of this world. Thirty percent on the power play. That's kind of ridiculous. We've been able to maintain that throughout most of the year. PK's dropped a bit, but it's still effective. 20, 21, seven and three on home ice. Twenty one eight and two on the road. We're consistent. In the way we play, no matter where they're at home or away. 7, 3, and 0 oh in the last 10. Let's see how we stack up to the rest of the league here. Goals for. First. Goals against. Fourth. So, I mean, we're only .09 off of the leader. So, we're, yeah, we're up there. Power play percentage. Probably first. I don't see anyone who's beat us. Yep, first by almost 4%. Wow. Penalty kill. All right, that's a bit of an issue. Penalty kill, more middle of the pack. Yeah, middle of the pack penalty kill. Okay. That's our only kind of weakish point right now is that penalty kill. Everything else, though, top top of the world, essentially. Right where we want it to be. Line A, 73 points. Shifley, 72. Landeskog, now point per game. So he's really stepped on his, put his foot on the gas pedal and. Yeah, I, I like again. I was saying, how do you trade the guy? 
how do you trade anyone with the team, with the chemistry, everything? It was hard to do. Ehlers, almost point per game. Hurdle with 51 points. Connor with 51 points. That's the line at 48. Wong, 46. These two guys are going to be 50-point guys on the third line. It's... <laughs> The, <laughs> I don't really care that maybe my second line isn't close to point per game as they have been in the past. We got 50 plus point scores on the third line. Yeah, they have power play time, but wow. Really good. I mean, if you look at it, Vessel Line is, a, is essentially a Landeskog replacement through and through. <laughs> I mean, every single sense of the word. He's not, his shooting ratio is going to be about the same as Landeskog, production ratio about the same. Yeah, he really is a Landeskog replacement. Question is, is do we let do we trade Landeskog on his last year or do we just play him out? Do we risk Veseline and not getting much more growth? We got him to a long term team friendly deal though. Pretty steep drop off that poor Gotch isn't getting too much production here. But he is literally perfect for the team. Like crazily. I mean, not going to be great on the second. I mean, he'd be he's, he's, chemistry-wise, he could play up and down the lineup. Oh, man. Defensively, Barry with 48 points. Tessier with 38. <laughs> 14 goals. Injured right now, but all all things considered, doing well. Everyone's plus and minus has gotten on the right side of things. Yeah, we're in good shape. Goalie-wise, Hellebuck actually, save percentage not great. Yeah, he's actually not doing as great as he was. So probably not going to win any hardware, but we're winning games. And Fransu, his numbers have vastly improved. So there we go. That's good for us. Who's our Rooks? Do we have any? Oh, it's just Lease. That's right. All right, well, yeah, I, what, what, I don't think we should make a move, not to our roster, not, not to anything that'll mess with our chemistry, because 81% chemistry is very, very good, it's very good, and that might still go up, and chem, and that locker room chemistry, we got, we got to be as one if we want to push for that cup again. And we're going to need to be firing in all cylinders here. So I don't think we should make a move to our roster. I don't really see a, a need to. We can maybe make some minor trades, get away some less than ideal prospects, get some picks back, and such and so forth. That kind of stuff can be done. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I don't really see any a need to do much here at the deadline. We're one point out of the President's Trophy uh, yeah. We're not going to move out of first in the division. We're going to have home ice advantage likely throughout the entirety of the playoffs, depending on if we, you know, face the Ducks and depending on how that ends up. Yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think, but I'm, I'm pretty convinced that not making a move here is the best course of action for us. So let me know what you guys think. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one.